Excuse me, Mr. President, would you mind answering a few questions? Of course. What was the toughest challenge of your presidency? The toughest challenge would have to be getting the new nation started. What was your greatest accomplishment? One would definitely be that I was the first president of the United States. Another would have to be that I was the commander of the Continental Army. Why did you voluntarily resign as Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army? I did to reinforce the democracy of our country. How did you deal with the Whiskey Rebellion? I sent almost 13,000 federal soldiers into western Pennsylvania. What was it like not living in the White House? I didn't mind. I enjoyed staying in New York. Why didn't you want to get involved in the war following the French Revolution? I was afraid it would have destroyed everything that we worked for. What was your greatest military challenge? When I had to lead the American Revolutionary Forces as Commander-in-Chief. What was the greatest problem with being the first president? There was an immense amount of pressure. I had to start up a new nation with little money. There was no example to follow. What did you do to get the country's off, country off its feet? I had to work on enforcing rules. Speaking of your cabinet, how did you decide who would be in your cabinet? I wanted the smartest people of my time to work with me. That's why I chose Thomas Jefferson, Alexander Hamilton, Henry Knox, and Edmund Randall for my first term. Walk us to the events of the Whiskey Rebellion. About 20 years after the Revolutionary War began, our government had a small revolution by some of our own citizens. Taxes were a main issue. Alexander Hamilton proposed a tax on whiskey produced in the United States. The farmers of western Pennsylvania were not fond of the tax. Many profited from its sale. In 1794, a group of rebels attacked and destroyed the home of a tax inspector. The, re the rebellion grew in numbers and also threatened the spread to other states. We knew in order for the government to survive, it would have to show itself capable of keeping control. I made sure state militias were ready and sang negotiators. Alexander Hamilton's idea was to use the military. When, taking, when talking it out didn't work, I decided to use Alexander Hamilton's idea. A force of 13,000 mil militia troops marched into Boston, Pennsylvania. By the time the troops arrived, the rebellion had collapsed and most of the rebels had fled. Thank you for your time, Mr. President. You're welcome. <laughs>